What is up guys, William here from fitnessforbackpain.com. Really excited about today's workout. I'm gonna show you a great barbell workout that I think is great for someone with a disc herniation, a disc bulge, or whatever kind of disc injury you may have been diagnosed with, and you've been cleared to exercise, but exercise is causing you pain. Let's make a few changes. Let's give you some exercises for specifically as you watch me actually do them and work out through this workout here. You're gonna try them for yourself. Now, if you don't think you're ready for barbells just yet, you wanna start somewhere else, somewhere a little bit less threatening, check out this band and body weight workout. It's a free seven day sample of what I would give someone in your situation who's not ready for loaded carrying, loaded um, workouts like this one here. You can go to fitnessforbackpain.com forward slash free week. Let's go. Like any smart strength workout that you're gonna follow under my watch, you're gonna do some kind of warm up, and you're also gonna do some core stiffening exercises. I'm just gonna give you a brief example of what I did in this specific barbell workout. Um, I'm gonna be doing some pressing first, so you're gonna see me on the floor doing actually what I want to do loaded just not loaded. So you see me doing the floor presses with the barbell. I'll do a various amount of reps and sets of this. I might do two to three sets, depending on how I feel, for higher reps or lower reps, going slow, going fast. It really kind of comes down to how my body is feeling in the moment, then I'll kind of go from there. If I need more time, I'll give myself more time. If I need less time, then obviously I'm gonna chop some time off and put that energy somewhere else. Following that, I'm supersetting it here with some core stiffening exercises. Must, must, must. You've got to get into some kind of core training before you start any of your loaded exercises. Here you see me doing a single arm suitcase hold or a static one arm hold, whatever you wanna call them. Um, I'm going really heavy in this specific exercise here. You can go lighter. Of course, you wanna pick a weight that fits you best. You don't wanna be causing more pain, causing more issues, simply warming up. Just a quick note on the single arm static holds. You see my opposite arm kind of outstretched with a fist clenched or kind of with my elbows tucked, same fist being clenched. What I'm doing is creating full body stiffness. It's not enough to just grab the weight and hold it for dear life for the 30, 45 seconds that you're doing it for, but you're trying to create whole body stiffness to maintain that neutral position. So I'm doing that very strategically and I highly suggest you do the same. All right, so I'm gonna start off this workout with the actual floor press. You'll see me kind of go through various uh, number of weights. What weight you wanna start with obviously is gonna depend on where you're at. Now, if we're talking on the context of low back pain, disc herniation, bulge, post-fusion, I prefer the floor press because I can gain more stability and I'm decreasing the range of motion for my press. I just like this. If you wanna ch train the chest, if you wanna build strength and kind of keep that routine going while you manage your pain and get out of your chronic pain, this is a great way to challenge the chest and get a great workout in. Now, some things you wanna make sure that you're not doing is overarching the low back. Just because you are on the floor, you can still tend to arch the low back. We are not in competitive bench pressing. If you are in that, you're watching the wrong video. If you wanna just build stronger, look good naked, and just feel good, then we're going to focus on trying to keep the ribs under control. So they're not flaring up and expanding, but we're trying to keep them locked in, which is gonna keep your core locked in, which is gonna keep that neutral to you lower back. A lot of times we say flatten the lower back, push the lower back into the ground. We don't wanna do that. Find what is neutral, what feels good to you. Quick breath out, bring your ribs down, and then do the actual exercise. All right, so the next barbell exercise is the uneven barbell holds. Very similar to the single arm static holds with the kettlebell that I warmed up with, but this is gonna be like three or four working sets in my actual training program. Now, you could have moved this exercise to the front and you could have maybe changed that static hold option that you did during your warm up or during your core stiffening um, period of your warm up. Um, whatever you wanna do, you can swap them out. I knew I wanted to do this uneven hold, so I actually pushed it to the second exercise of the workout and it worked out great. I've got a barbell here. I'm loading one side of that barbell. Keep in mind that the weight is uneven on the barbell, so you're not gonna be able to just grab the middle. Depending on how much weight you have on the bar, it's gonna depend on where you grab the bar. So the more in the middle that you're grabbing it, 
it's going to be harder depending on how much weight you have on. The closer you are to the weighted side, the easier it will become. So goals would be to grab the middle of the bar, yes, and then from there you have to adjust your weight to make sure that you can maintain that good neutral place when you're actually carrying or when you're holding that bar in place. As always, you want to maintain a good, good brace. You want, don't want to overweight yourself to where you are causing too much compression or too uneven compression on your body to where you're creating symptoms. Everything you do, whether it be core training or loaded exercises with the barbell, you have to maintain yourself under the pain threshold, right? So we're trying to build resilience. We're trying to build stiffness and toughness uh, and more strength in these tissues so that you can withstand more, so you can become more resilient, getting back to the hobbies that you want to do outside of the gym. So we want to make sure that what you're doing in the gym is not keeping you from what you want to do out of the gym. You don't want to spend your off time recovering from your workout. All right, so this has been a really fun version of the shoulder press that I've been enjoying lately with the barbell. I'm doing a staggered stance on one knee shoulder press variation, okay? So I've kind of MacGyvered this in my own personal gym where I've got my rack, I've got my J hooks that hold the barbell in place, and then I'm getting under the barbell the best that I can to get into position and then on top of my J cups, where my J cup, where the barbell is being held, there's a little plastic rim above that. I'm actually lifting the bar off of the J cup and putting it on top of the very top of the J cup. It's not a safety thing. I'm not gonna leave it there. That's just my starting point. I don't like to start shoulder presses way deep, deep down into the pocket. I like to come up a little bit and kind of start from more of a neutral place in my mind for my own personal body. So I also like being in this staggered stance because I can really get activation in the lower body, right? I can contract the glutes, I can contract both sides of my body as far as my legs go. I can maintain my ribs down, my, my brace on, my glute contraction on, and I can press from a solid, solid place. I'm focusing on technique, I'm focusing on mastering, the pressing, it's not just about how many plates I can add to it, but it's how much strength or how much weight I can add to the bar while maintaining a perfect position, as perfect as possible. All right, so the next barbell exercise up is the landmine static lunge. Once you're up and the weight is, is in your hands and your weight bearing, you see you ha might have to make some adjustments. So if you can make all the adjustments before you lift off, that's great. Key points to, to note before you lift off, try to get organized. Don't just kind of go limp and jump into, into being a weight bearing position and then try to get in a position and start lunging. Try to, as much as you can, get stiff, get rigid before you lift off and make those minor adjustments at the top. Always err on going less weight, perfect form, rather than trying to challenge the weight just to get you know more weight on the bar, whatever your reasoning is behind that. And of course, you have to hit the curls. When you're messing with barbells, the curls have to come. This is the fifth bonus exercise are some good old traditional barbell curls. Yes, I'm curling in the squat rack. It's my squat rack. I don't care. Take a look at the stance that I'm having here with the curl. It's a staggered stance. I don't like having my feet side by side like this. I like to be more like this so I can kind of get more control and become more stable. I always tend to mess this up myself and I have to remind myself to not do this is trying to look down at the ground when you're curling. It's a, it's a habit that I've had for so long and I still do it as you can see in this video. I'll bounce back and forth from doing it. But as you're curling, I start to look forward or look down and focus on looking down instead of ahead of me. Look out front. Wherever your eyes are, typically your head will be also. So you want your head up and back. You want to be stacked well. You want to be braced and in control of that weight and in control of what position your body's in. If you're sensitive, small things like too much flexion or too much weight being out front can cause symptoms. It can cause tightness. It can cause flare-ups. I know it's kind of like being anal or nitpicky, but if you are highly sensitive, and you're working out of it, but you also wanna train and not have your training cause pain, you gotta think about this stuff. So eyes up, head up, stay stacked, 
make sure that you're looking ahead of you so that the rest of your body will follow suit. And that's it. Hopefully you enjoyed this barbell workout. If the barbells are too much, if, you're, if some of these exercises you're like, nah, I'm just not ready for those yet, go check out that band and body weight workout option. It's a seven day free sample of how I would train with bands and body weight. It's free. You can get it at fitnessforbackpain.com forward slash free week. I show you exactly how I would program a workout just like this, just minus the barbell and only using your body weight, which you already have, and your bands, which you can get just about anywhere. So grab that. Thanks for watching guys. I will see you on the next episode.